I'm going to be watching Michael Toysak to react to GTA 5. No, he just sits on his ass all day. Uh, playing the game. You know, that was the audition scene. That was the first audition scene right there. I was able to slip a pal in and it became, you forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. Oh my God, that is such a great scene. Look at Michael in the back. He's just like, oh, he's suffering. Oh my God, what did you do? We're dead, we're dead, we're dead. Hey, welcome to another episode of Experts React. I'm Ned Luke, a.k.a. Michael DeSanto for Grand Theft Auto V. We're going to be looking at GTA's story and reacting to it. Open the door! You'll get worse than her! <laughs> the prologue. There's a lot of looks into the future here. A lot of clues. Oh, that lady killed me. It was like, shut up. There's Brad. <laughs> Show me the money. Slow. slow and steady, T. Slow and steady. <laughs> There's enough here for us all to enjoy. There's clue number one to the future. This is awesome, but when I played it, I always like to play with myself. So it's like, you know, I'm always doing Michael as much as I can. <laughs> I don't like playing with Trevor. Yeah you're, yeah, you're a real stallion. I like that line. Yeah, you're a real stallion. <laughs> Brad's so compassionate. Local Yokels bought it. That guy's a... <laughs> oh, here we go. No. He just sits on his all day. Oh, for playing the game. Yo. Know, that was the audition scene. That was the first audition scene right there. And where did these opportunities get you, Michael? Take it be right. In here. <laughs> the end of the road. I got to tell you, man, Friedlander was so good, man. Oh, my God, he was so good. That house right there. So this actually exists, that house. Somebody sent me a picture. They DM'd me a picture of Berto Beach House. Probably half to three quarters of what Lamar just said was ad-libbed. Oh my god, this is awesome. Slink, who played Lamar, you want to talk about throwing away a script. He threw away the script. I mean, you didn't know what this cat was going to say. You can see, like, right here coming up, and he's talking about, oh yeah, 401ks and whatever, you know, and all that. You can see, like, Solo starting to, like, say his line, his next line, after a while, because he's supposed to say, you know, he's supposed to say, oh, no, yeah, no, we, we good, man, you know, you know, and he says, I'm getting my money in the hood, we could, I think Lamar put in, you know, Slink put in so much stuff in there, he wasn't ready to come in, he didn't know where he was supposed to come in, and he comes in, like, as soon as he hears, oh, we cool, no, yeah, we good, oh, yeah, well, then he, he goes with his line, and it was like that all the time for Solo, he, he, would, he would just listen for that cue line, because he never knew what, what Slink was going to say. <laughs> Oh my God, the kids. So that's McCall Sinnott. Uh, unbelievable, Tracy. Danny Tamborelli plays Jimmy. He's like ridiculous. This was fun, man. There's, so I come in here, you know, I'm, I'm up there. There's a way that you can play this where, you know, Pistol Whip, Franklin. And we were doing that and, and Franklin's always like, man, damn, that busted my head when he did that, man. Like that, and it was you know it was a soft rubber gun, you know, I think so it didn't really hurt, but it was like he wasn't expecting it, you know, like it was like pow, like that, and it is like he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, he gets knocked out. But there's there's a way you can play this where that happens, and I don't know if that's a failed mission or if, what the deal is, but yeah, there's there's where that was just funny because you don't see that very often. Oh, this is great right here. I love that shot looking up into the sky there and pops in. Phil Collins playing in the background. Oh man, oh my God. You know what's crazy is my wife is was a yoga teacher in real life and always trying to get me to do yoga. Always trying to get me to do yoga. So when I had this scene, you know, I was learning the lines at home and stuff and oh, she was so excited that I had to do yoga. It was the hardest day because I had to fail I had to succeed, I had to kind of fail, I had to do it over and over and over. Eight hours of yoga, I was dying. Vicky Van Tassel is incredible. In my own bed? Michael! That's, that's Amanda, Vicky Van Tassel. Great name, too. I'm gonna arrange your, I'm gonna arrange your funeral. I love this. Don't kill him! You win? 
Let's quote. Doesn't take much to convince Franklin. I don't remember who played the tennis guy, but he was good. He goes, I'm going to put up my hand and tell you my bad, dude. It was like, and he pulls it off the hill. Oh, my God. I got to say, I'm a little disappointed that you guys are doing the Bug Stars version. I like the other version. The other version, Loud and Dumb, that has one of my favorite lines in it that we don't have here. I like when he busts through the door. I always played everything loud and dumb. Whatever the loudest, dumbest thing was, because there's more action that way. Like here, you got everybody's passed out, so you don't really get any action until the end. When you go loud and dumb, and he busts in through the door, and he says, ladies and gentlemen, this is your moment. Please don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have done. But that was one of my favorite lines, the, the plastic surgeon line. I love that line. The forget a thousand things every day, pal. The writers are brilliant, right? And Rockstar's made all these great games. They know what they're doing. I mean, they're, they're you know, they're Rockstar. The thousand things every day, pal. The every, that line, I couldn't say it. It, it was, to me, it, was, it, it wasn't a good line. I didn't like it. I hated that line. And I've said this a lot of times, different interviews and stuff. I, I really despised that line. Didn't like it. So I was trying to do it and I was changing it because they, they were, you know, Rockstar was really good about letting me ad lib, improvise, you know, and all this kind of stuff. So I was like, hey, I got to change this up. And I, I was trying to come up with different stuff. And I couldn't find the rhythm on that line. Finally, the director comes up to me and he goes, uh, they, they want you to say this line exactly as written. So, say it exactly as written. I'm like, oh my God, man, I can't. I mean, the line sucks, man, it sucks. He's like, trust me on this. It's the line. I'm like, all right. So I did it a few times, you know, it sucked. I couldn't find the rhythm. And finally, I was able to slip a pal in and it became, forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. Boom, they're a rock star because they're smart. And of course, it's the line everybody wants. That's the line everybody wants. And once I found the line, I was able to then improvise a little bit and change it up a little bit and stuff. And they were cool with it, you know, but it was just getting that initial one. You know, sometimes it's like that. You got to find the rhythm of a, of a thing. You change a little something here, change a little something there so that it works for you. Johnny Clevitz, poor Johnny. Everybody was so excited to see Johnny Clevitz coming back from GTA 4, right? And then this happens and it's like, now everyone's pissed. Oh my god, what an introduction, huh? Look at Los Santos, man. You know, I lived in LA for 18 years. Sometimes I drive around, and just try to find places that I know and remember. I always felt Trevor should have been talking to a to a skull right there. Like, you know, what is that Hamlet? Like he's talking to a skull. <laughs> And watch here, Michael pulls Jimmy back behind him to protect him. It's a little move that, <laughs> that was just a move I did. I don't know if it was like, I don't know if it's being a father or what in real life, but it was just something that came to me to protect Jimmy. Franco, the son I always wanted. Oh, she's great. Yeah, Auntie, she got ass, like ass. Now, Auntie was in Fresh Prince, I think it was. Oh, this is great. The f has happened. Why do you have his car? Okay, so this is after the Martin Madrazo thing, where, by the way, the guy almost broke my arm who played Martin Madrazo, hit me with the baseball bat. He hit me with the unwrapped side of it. So, like, like the stick was, it was on a, on a like, a, a stick, and it was wrapped in foam, but one side was exposed hard still and this guy you know he's supposed to hit me with the foam side he hit me with the hard side and i mean all the roll around on the floor and the and the agony that i was in that wasn't acting that was that was for real but i kept going with it and then when we finished the scene i was like man i go i was like is it i hope you got that that's the only take you're getting and it, it, and it played it played ridiculously well on uh you know in the game but anyway that's that's going back a little ways but right here uh, with Martin Madrazo. Trevor kidnaps the wife. And this scene, people love this scene. It's like, the f Did you just do it? Why do you have his car? Go. Oh my God, it is such a great scene. 
Look at Michael in the back. He's just like, oh, he's suffering. Oh, my God. What did you do? We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. That is so good right there. I love it. That Fans love that scene. Like, they'll always be like, like, oh, oh, damn. What the fuck did you do? What did you do? Oh, well, I kind of got a little angry. And then the May December romance they uh, they start up is like, you know, I mean, it's just, it's crazy, man. It makes so much sense. The the favorite one that I would probably say, it's hard because, man, they're all, they're all really good, you know what I mean? But I would say it's probably the one in the kitchen where Trevor, where Trevor shows up. Yeah, because there's, there's just, you know, we're all there. Uh, the family, you know, Jimmy, me, Amanda, Fabian, who, who, Fabian was so good. And then Trevor, you know, so it, it was it was really good. I like that one a lot. When the loaf come up in your crib, was that in there? I mean, that's 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 an iconic scene. So you got to love that one. That's another episode of Experts React. I'm Ned Luke, aka Michael DeSanta for Grand Theft Auto Five at Ned underscore Luke. That's on Twitter. Yeah. With Michael, you know, what I like about him is that he puts his family first, even though, you know, he's kind of a douche. He, his family really does matter to him. Now I'm going to go f- uh, Alright, see you dreamers.